While the brush accelerator can optimize the Corel Painter performance preferences for you, it can be useful to understand what each component is and how it contributes to performance. The first option is for processor, which is your CPU. This component does the bulk of your computer's processing, and it plays a big part in determining how fast Corel Painter will perform on your system. My CPU is an AMD Ryzen 9 with 12 cores and 24 threads. For those of you who aren't into building computers, this probably isn't going to make a whole lot of sense to you. But basically, having more cores is better because it makes Corel Painter run faster. If you multitask while using Corel Painter, it's wise to reserve at least one of your cores for other applications. The Brush Accelerator has recommended that I set thread allocation to 11, so I will leave it at that. I could set this higher to 12, but it doesn't mean that it's going to make Corel Painter work any faster. There is also a note that says you'll need to restart Painter in order to apply a new value. Moving on down to graphics processor or your GPU, this is a component that takes some of the processing burden off of your CPU by handling some of the graphics related tasks. Your GPU may be a video card that you added to your system, or it may be an integrated GPU that is built into your system. If you're using a laptop, the GPU is probably built in. If you're using a desktop, then it might be a video card that you can swap out for a faster model. The brush accelerator test has determined that my system can utilize GPU, so use GPU to accelerate brush performance is checked. If I change this setting, I'll need to restart Painter to apply it. It's not uncommon to be working on a system with multiple GPUs. For example, your desktop computer might have an integrated GPU that is not very powerful, so you added a dedicated video card. The brush accelerator should be selecting that GPU by default, but if it's not, look in the configure menu and make sure that the correct GPU is selected. In my case, it's the NVIDIA GTX 1080. A powerful video card is a great way to boost brush performance on your computer, and it's a pretty easy upgrade. It's important to note that Painter will select either the CPU or the GPU to accelerate brush processing, depending on which component is faster. On certain systems, Painter may determine that the CPU works faster than your GPU to process brushes. In that case, the GPU will not be utilized. Moving on down, we have the memory or RAM. Memory helps Curl Painter run faster by storing large amounts of instructions that will be sent to the CPU or GPU for processing. For example, the quantity of layers, undo history, and the user interface can all contribute to RAM consumption. Painter only requires 16 gigabytes of RAM, so you should be fine with at least that. The Brush Accelerator has recommended that I use 80% of my RAM on my system, which is 51.1 gigabytes of a total of 64 gigabytes that I have installed on my system. Again, if I change this value, I'll need to restart Painter. Just like with your CPU, you should save some of your RAM for other applications that may be running in the background while you work with Corel Painter. If you have a lot of extra RAM, that's definitely a good thing. Although, if I view the report that the Brush Accelerator generated, and we look at the components that are contributing the most to brush performance, it's my GPU doing most of the work. My CPU is not contributing quite as much, but GPU acceleration only applies to brushes that can use the GPU. So there is still a benefit to having a powerful CPU. RAM plays a lesser role in performance, so don't expect that adding a ton of RAM is going to have a major impact. Also in the memory grouping, we have the undo levels limit. By default, this is set to 32. I recommend that you set this on the lower end because it's going to improve the performance of Painter by consuming less RAM. Beneath that, we have high quality display. We can disable this to improve the performance of high resolution paintings. I demonstrated this feature in the lesson about the magnifier tool and showed that when high quality display is disabled, smoothing is not applied to your pixels, creating a sharper appearance. I'll leave this option disabled. Below that, we have Use Memory RAM to Cache Application UI enabled to improve performance. This will store information about the state of the user interface and memory to make switching between brushes and tools faster. I'll leave this enabled. Below that, we have the Scratch Drive, which can improve the performance of Corel Painter by writing some information to an additional drive. I recommend that you set this to an internal drive, preferably an SSD or solid state drive. On my system, that would be my D drive. And then at the very bottom, we have the brush accelerator, which we can use to rerun the test or view the results. Should you ever reinstall Corel Painter or import a workspace from another system, you will need to rerun the brush accelerator. A good visual cue that the brush accelerator needs to be run is the advanced button in the properties bar will have a red dot next to it. Until you run the brush accelerator, you won't be able to use your GPU to speed up brushes. 
If you need help with your performance settings, you can also click this Help with Performance Settings button, and this will take you to the Corel Painter Help Guide, which will explain the settings in more detail. If you'd like a guide on how to optimize your computer to improve the performance of Corel Painter, check out my Optimization Guide reference.